What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I thought it'd be funny to try to have a baby with every Sims 4 townie to see who has the most attractive babies. This episode I'll be checking out every townie in Henford upon Bagley or Henford on Bagley to see which townie has the hottest kids with my favorite Sim, Chelsea and Peter Schmay. Not to be confused with me. Kelsey and Peach Gay. Totally different. Not the same at all. Don't think about it too much. It gets weird. Henford on Bagley has some incredibly attractive sibs, but also iconic sibs. We have the Watson family, the Moody and McMillan family. We also have like a couple secret sibs. So I'm really excited to get started. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you back. Also, my goal is to hit 900,000 subscribers and we're getting closer each and every day. So please tune in. If you aren't new here, Thanks for being here. Let's hop into the video. Our girl Chelsea is on the scene. She's looking fit. She's looking fab. She's looking like she's got really intense cheekbones and quite big eyes, which she's going to pass down to her children for generations. This will be our matriarch, our blueprint, the person that will be supplying most of the DNA, it seems. From my experiments in the past, I realized that the mother's genes are heavily distributed. We have plenty of gorgeous contestants. We're going to start with our creature keeper, Michael Bell. You might have not met him, but he is a secret sim that lives in a little cottage. He doesn't actually normally live here. I just put him there for now. He's got the friendliest little face. He's an adult. He's got some fine lines already, but we're not going to hold it against him. He's got like a cutie little haircut, bushy brows, a good beard, freckles. There's a lot of great characteristics to him down to my children. So hopefully our children are gonna be beautiful together. As always, I randomize three times, but you know, I make the rules. So if I change my mind midway through, it is what it is. But we like to keep it random here just to see what The Sims is gonna pop out. Let's randomize and see what child we're producing with Michael. We're gonna randomize once, twice. Okay, she cute and three times. I kind of wanted brown hair, but I'm willing to accept it because we do have his freckles and what looks like his face shape. So I think that we have a lot of Michael's traits. I'm just gonna name her Michael Jr. just to remember who's the father. So let's check out Michael Jr.'s traits here. She's like got a little bit of Chelsea's prominent cheekbones. She's got a chin. She's got cute lips, smaller eyes, which I think are her father's. The hairstyle is not my favorite on her face. So maybe we'll give her something else that's cute, maybe from the pack, maybe some custom content, who knows? I'm just gonna adjust her a little bit to make her look her best self to see if I was playing with the Sim, how I would style her. That hairstyle is really working for me. I'm also gonna change the brows, but of course we're not gonna change anything that a girl couldn't change in like one day, right? We're gonna be removing the EA lashes. She's got Chelsea's eye color, which is cute. I love her round face. It's absolutely adorable. She's got kind of a bit of a pout going on and I love it. We're gonna give her some, ooh, I love the floor. Every time I put floor on my like skin detail, I just, mm, I love it. I just go crazy about it. Overall, a sleigh. Wow, Michael Bell. This was random too. I would happily play as this sim. Do I kind of hate the business casual look? She's rocking, yes. But Michael Bell Jr., wow, what a strong start. I don't know if we're gonna do better than this. And next up in our world is the Chopras, Lavina and Raul. I don't remember whether or not Raul is a young adult or a teen. Okay, Raul is a teen. Raul you will not be allowed to participate, but your mom, Lavinia, she looking fine. Okay, Lavinia giving mother I'd like to woohoo energy. She's got like this gorgeous hat and these green eyes and a gorgeous skin tone. She's got a little beauty mark. Lavinia who is also the mayor. We're having the mayor's illegitimate child right now and nothing could be cuter, I think. No notes, the sim is perfect, but we do have to randomize three times. All right, once, still hot. Twice, still hot, three times. I don't think you could make an unhot sim with this combo. Listen, there's a lot of cuter towny combos than I was expecting. I thought everyone would be a pass and most people are a smash. Most of their kids are a smash. I don't wanna 
go too deep into that though. I don't love this hair. I just don't love the roots on it. I know I picked that one out and it's my own custom content. I don't want to talk about it. She's got that curly, curly hair vibe. I'm going to go with this hair. This hair is beautiful. And then we're going to go with brow. I'm more of a custom content brow girly. I can't help it. We're going to remove her EA lashes. Maybe I'll give her like a sassy little beauty mark like her mom. Oh my God. She's so, I mean, the beauty mark obviously would be makeup, right? Cause I'm not allowed to actually change marks on her face. What is with the business casual? Okay, party up top, sweatpants on the bottom. I can relate, I do that sometimes. AKA right now I'm currently wearing sweatpants. So no judgment from me. Lavinia Jr., you are certifiably smoking. I expected as much because your mom's really hot, but dang. Why do I, I see them as characters in, in Mean Girls? Michael Jr. is giving Renee raps to me somehow. Maybe I'm crazy. You can tell me I'm crazy. I just, she just has that same je ne sais quoi. Lavinia Chopra, thank you so much for your donation to science. I'm being less mean today and returning the Sims back to the world after I am using them. I'm not deleting them all which I think is very generous of me. Next up, we got Ms. Goldblum. Got that cute round face, warm brown eyes, dark brown hair. I'm excited. She's very pale, just like me, okay? But we could get some wonky looking kids with that skin tone. I feel like we're gonna get some fun combination. Nah, maybe not, maybe, uh, maybe it's just the hair. I don't like that hair. All right, here we go. One, okay, okay, two. Why is she giving like desperate housewife vibes? Uh, three, AKA Nancy Landgrab vibes. I like this one cause it's a mystery. I can't even tell if this is a cute sim until I remove all of the things. And again, we got business up top, party on the bottom of the sims. Kim Jr., let's reveal what your look is. I am actually pleasantly surprised. Kim Jr. mainly got a lot of Chelsea stuff. Got Chelsea's coloring, hair color, eye color, cheekbones. So she is very Chelsea leaning, but also I'm seeing quite a bit of a Kim. Let's give her some lash. She's given me natural girly, which I love. I actually kind of like this hairstyle on her too. I like it. I think this is a pretty good looking sip. She does have a very wide mouth, which is not everybody's favorite. Some people say Joker. I've seen Joker in the comments where like the mouth is so wide. She doesn't seem too horrifying, honestly. I don't like her fit. I would scrap the top, but keep the bottoms. It's just this top that needs swapped out for maybe something like a t-shirt, something like this, but not that, because it looks bad. I like her, she's cute, she's cute, she can stay. All right, next up, we've got Moody and McMillan. These two old farts. I don't really know what their deal is. I believe they were roommates. Oh, they're husbands. Okay, they aren't roommates. I kind of figured, I was like, these two are lovers, but I've never looked into it. But these two husbands are gonna see what kind of babies they would make with Chelsea. And Ian Moody has got good uh, hairline for such an elder, he's got like, a strong jaw, very prominent nose. He's got a lot of like larger features, which I love. He's also rocking some glasses, as is his husband, Derek, who's rocking so many freckles. Oh my goodness. He got a full beard. Again, a lot of hair. So I'm excited to see what these men have in store for us. So we're gonna randomize what? Ooh, okay. Sims are really into this hair today for some reason. Randomize twice. Okay, this one looks a lot more like his features, but she looks like an, an elder and not a teen. We're gonna randomize three times. Looks a lot like Chelsea, but like an alternate reality version of Chelsea. I'm gonna do one more randomization just to see what it would look like. I'm gonna go with this one. I think she looks cool, but I would have taken the other one too. So Ian Jr. I love the glasses. We were probably gonna put them back, but I'm gonna take them off for now. I love that she has curly hair, kind of like her dad, Derek. It's almost like Chelsea's the surrogate. I might be into a different type of hair for her just to make her look a little younger. Eyebrows looking good. Face shape's cute. She's definitely got a chin, which is great. Honestly, I love her nose. She is cute. Of all of the Sims, I think she looks the most like a teenager. I don't know if it's just her big brown eyes and like sweetheart face or if it's like the short hair. The peplum top is not giving for me, but it's it's okay. Apparently that's coming back in. This is gonna be hard. I mean, I feel like Lavinia is probably the hottest Sim, very closely tied with Michael Jr. 
Ian Jr. I think is just cute. I don't know if I would say she's the hottest sim. We're gonna go on to Derek McMillan. He does have big old wide ears, which I find very adorable, but can be, you know, not as traditionally attractive. And his eyes do seem a little small. It super suits his face, but on another sim, it might look a little more awkward. Those freckles are gonna save it for sure. Put them together and we'll randomize their daughter once. Okay, cute, twice. That just looks like Chelsea. And three times. Why is she paler than both of her parents? I'm not quite sure on that one. I like her look a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna give her some different brows. I love the freckles on her face. This is a cool looking sim, especially with a lot of features I wouldn't necessarily have put together. The silver hair, the green eyes, the smaller eyes, more prominent nose and lip. It's kind of working for me. I also feel like she would look really good in glasses. Let me put on some lashes. These ones will work. I'm gonna give her some accessories of glasses just to see. Oh yeah, she looks fantastic in glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at in the silver too. She is such a cool sim. I even like kind of love the outfit. The boots are throwing me off. I feel like you gotta go with like a, maybe like that, you know? But there you have it, Derek Jr. McMillan. If I had to rank, I would say Lavinia is still in first place for me in my heart in the hotness category, followed by Michael Bell Jr., Kim Jr. third, Derek Jr. fourth, and in last place is Ian Jr., only because she's so stinking cute. Let's add back in our next contestant, new star, Cecilia Kang. Cecilia Kang, come on down. She's a girl who just moved to Henford upon Bagley and is looking for a fresh new star. Well, I've got a new start for you, and it's called motherhood. I'm not a big fan of Cecilia's makeup, but Cecilia's facial features are so cute. She's giving freckled Disney princess over here, and I love to see it. I love also that she's like non-committal. I feel like she like ran away from a wedding or something, which is hilarious to me. Let's randomize once, we'll randomize twice, and we'll randomize three times. Why are these sims all so cool? It's the earrings and the piercings are just really coming together to make something very special and I'm very impressed. Cecilia King Jr. is just crushing it. Let's take off these glasses. Yeah, the glasses were hiding a lot for me, all right? The brows are giving Disney villain, all right? Your mother was a Disney princess. Where, where, where did the brows come in? Once you get a different brow shape, she's pretty cute. Her mouth and nose, I feel like are great. I really like their proportions. There's something about her eyes. It's just like maybe they need something, but they look a little bare in the middle of her face like that. I think that's why they put quite a bit of eye makeup on. We could also add the one with even more freckles be more accurate to her mom's freckles. I love that actually. And then we can add some sneaky little lashes. Gotta take off her rings and gloves. What is going on with this blue part of the lashes? Is it the earrings? Interesting, the earrings were glitching with the lashes. Maybe this one, this is kind of like a version of that. It doesn't go with the hair. I like that the hair is so different. I need a hair that is giving updo though, but isn't that updo specifically. This one looks the most similar without the braid. You know what, I'm just gonna give her a fully different hairdo. This one's good. This one actually reminds me a lot of it without being an updo and not having that like glittery wedding vibe to it. She is a stunner actually. For a second, I was like not as into her eye shape, but I think once you put lashes on it, it really is so pretty. She had a nose piercing, didn't she? Am I crazy? Roll the tape back. I thought she had a nose piercing, so I'm gonna give her a nose piercing back and then I'm gonna give her little glasses back again. She is a cool girl approved. I think that she and Derek Jr. would get along. Like, I think they would be besties. Maybe it was the fact that I gave them the same nose ring. Why did I give her the same nose ring? Give her a different nose ring, Kelsey. Maybe it's this one. I think it might have been a septum piercing because I remember seeing a septum piercing on someone and it wasn't you and none of the rest of them have it. Okay, so it was probably her. I do need to take the glasses off because it's hard for me to judge. Okay, so is she prettier than some of these other sims? I think I would rank her 
above Derek and Ian. I feel like Kim Jr. and Cecilia are kind of tied for me. I think they're both very attractive, but in very different ways. We have now seven Sims. So we're gonna need to start making cuts. Obviously, Michael Bell Jr. Obviously, Lavinia. I'm sorry, Ian and Derek. You guys are so cute. We're gonna put you, actually, we'll put them back with their dads. There you go, family reunited. I don't know when I got a conscious about just deleting my Sims, but here we are. And then I'm gonna keep uh, these as my top four. So we're gonna move on to our next duo, which is the Scott family. Sarah Scott and Simon Scott. I believe they're a couple and they run the bar. At least Sarah runs the bar. We're gonna start with Sarah. She just is giving Disney princess to me. Perfect face. Perfect big doe eyes, perfectly quaffed hair, beautifully arched brows that look like painted on. I have high hopes. I mean, look how cute that kid is. All right, let's randomize once, twice, three times. Okay, let's try four times. All right, because I, wa I wanted to sim with a skin color a little closer to Sarah's. I feel like sometimes the skin color gets too close to Chelsea's. So we got Sarah Jr. I like the vibe so far. The hair is cute. I kind of would prefer it with the version without the color on it. She already has some very nice brows. So in their custom content, no notes. Let's put her in some skin details. It looks almost like she already has a skin detail. Our skin details are looking good. V looks good, strudel. I think I'm gonna go floor as usual. I just love that one. And we're gonna go with some like nice lashes. What's not to like? She's a beautiful Sim. I love this bright dress on her. She also does look young too, which I love. Easily top three Sims. So so far. She is just so beautiful. You know, Michael Jr., you could take a note from Sarah Jr., okay? Sarah at least is wearing something that seems coordinated. Even the pinks and oranges are kind of flowing through to her shoes. It's perfect. This brings us to our second sim of this duo, Simon Scott. He is a hot guy. He is a hunk. Perfect masculinity, no notes. A man in a cardigan. Need I say more? Here we go. We're gonna randomize once. Okay, randomize twice. Okay, randomize three times. Randomize four times? Okay, Th those two sims look the same, so that felt like a signal. All right, let's take this hat off and let's take this these accessories off here. I like the kind of shorter hairstyle moment. She's got full lips. Her cheekbones are a little, they're prominent, but they're lower on her face. Yeah, adding floor just makes everything just smooth out, baby. Simon, sigh. Can I call you sigh? She's kind of got these like more sloped, like downturned eyes, which I think is very sweet. I was under no delusion that Simon and Sarah were gonna have good looking kids. If anything, I was more curious about their own kids together. Absolutely gorgeous, Simon Jr. And I love the short hair. I'm thinking it's gonna be a three-way tie between Sarah, Lavinia, and Michael Bell. I do think like honorable mention though, Kim Jr., Cecilia Jr., and Simon Jr. We're keeping your other daughter though, okay? Cause we think she's cute. And then we've got Kim Jr. I don't remember who you belong to anymore. Oh, well, it's King Goldblum, obviously, okay. <laughs> Cecilia Kang, you're going back with your mom. You guys look great together. We're gonna give uh, Kim, Kim Goldblum Jr. back to Kim Goldblum here. Looking so great together. Aw, it's kind of cute seeing the parent back with their kid. We have two more families left. The Watson family and who we've all been waiting for, the Crumble Bottoms. But we gotta go with the Watsons first. Many of this, these Sims are actually not adults. Rashida is a teen, so obviously she's gonna stay with the siblings. So it's just Thomas and Romney Watson who will be helping us out today. Thomas Watson, a green eyed gent with kind of salt and pepper hair. Most would say a hottie in his own right. He's got a thinner face and like a lot of ear. I think he can make cute kids, but I also think he can make weird looking kids in it. It'll just be 50-50. Here we go. We're randomizing our daughter once. Okay, that just looks like Chelsea. Twice. Okay, not a fan, not a fan. Three times. Okay! This just looks like a random character in a Disney Pixar film. It's not the main character. I think it's the hairstyle, honestly. I think if she got a main character hairstyle, it would be over for us. Yeah, that's what it was. 
Wait, okay. I knew it. I knew as soon as I put those skin details on, it was gonna change the game. Am I ruining this experiment by using skin details? I didn't think so, but now like, wait. No, she's still cute without them on. It just makes it more my 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 taste. A good amount of chin. We've gotten some luck with the chin department lately. The chin department's calling and it's saying, We heard your complaints, all right? Normally, I feel like The Sims has this glitch where the, where the chins kind of like recede. If you watched any of my other videos, you probably know about my thing with the chins. But if this is your first one, I wanted to explain it. But a lot of times the chins just tend to like just be less and less despite the fact that the sims themselves have strong chins i wasn't expecting thomas jr to be cute i keep saying that but it keeps being true this long cheerleading skirt looking thing is absolutely hilarious to me i'm gonna fix her fit that's so much better i love the green eyes she does look a little less like thomas and a lot more like chelsea and that's probably why i think she's cute i wouldn't say she's breaking the top three mainly because she just looks like most of the sims that i've made before rami watson she's really pretty she's got a bit more of a square face i'm not perfect on face shapes but it does look a little bit more square it's not fully square it's like kind of in between round and square you know how like squoval is between like the round and oval for your nails that's how i feel about her face i love her nose i hope our child has your nose all right we're gonna randomize it once okay we're gonna randomize her twice oh she's really cute we're gonna randomize her three times that's totally Chelsea's nose. I just want to see if this Sim has her mom's nose. This Sim has her mom's nose. I'm going with this Sim. She's got a cooler skin tone, which is interesting because both Chelsea and Rami have warm skin tones. The skin tone mix in The Sims 4 is a little odd. I don't know how they programmed it. I bet it's complicated because it's it's a little wild. Rami Jr., you obviously picked one of my favorite custom content hairs. The amount of body yaddy on it is, is, can't be matched. Oh, the minute I changed her eyebrow, she got sad brow. I didn't mean to do that to you. Okay, that one looks good. She got some intense sad brow energy, which is very cute. It gives like hush puppy vibes, which hush puppies are very cute. She can rock any of these lashes. She's got a lot of really like angular facial structures in that nose. And she does have a bit more of like a larger head. All head sizes are cute. Don't let me tell you differently. I honestly feel like Rami Jr. might be a little bit cuter than her mom. I don't know. She's definitely cuter than Thomas Jr. I'm sorry, Thomas Jr. It's hard to break the top three. I think Rami is so pretty and I love her choice in shoe and t-shirt matching is A plus, but I still think I'm gonna give it to the top three. I know, I hate to say it. I just think that they look great together. What am I supposed to do, you know? I'm gonna return you guys all to the family. I feel like Rami and Thomas Jr. kind of blend in and last, but not least, I present to you the Crumple Bottoms, Agnes Crumple Bottom and Agatha Crumple Bottom. They are the reason I decided to do this neighborhood next, honestly, because I just really wanted to know what their babies looked like. I wouldn't be able to touch Agnes with a 10 foot pole, let alone have a baby with her in game. So this is a perfect opportunity. She is so hot headed and a loner. She doesn't want to have children but we're having children with her today. Before we get started, I wanna check you out, Agnes, a little bit, you know, give you your due. She's got kind of like an oval face shape. I've got a bit of an oval face shape. It might be more diamondy because she's got more of a like, pointed jaw and chin. She's got thinner lips, which I also have thinner lips. Am I gonna look like Agnes Couple Bottom when I'm old? She has thinner eyebrows than I do. She's got blue eyes that seem almondy, and I have almondy blue eyes. I don't wanna think about this too much. Chelsea and Agnes, will they have good looking children together? Let's find out. We'll randomize once. Eh, twice. Oh, okay. This one's a cute one. Three times. <sighs> they just look like not like teenagers. Agnes Jr. Let's see what, oh, she looks mad at me. Oh, I would expect nothing less than Agnes's daughter. I'm actually gonna keep those brows because I think that's pretty hilarious. But we're going to give her the same skin details. Why does this feel like it looks like my sister? Maybe it's this disappointed look. I'm sorry, I love you. To my sister, my sister will not be watching this, but I love her. My sister has a nose closer to this. That might actually be part of it. This sim scares me. I feel like I need to apologize to her for something, but I, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't think that Agnes Sr.'s anger and like meanness would translate down to her daughter, but it did and she's terrifying. I love it. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Agatha Crumplebottom, our sweet 
Angel. I love Agatha Crumblebottom. I've had her in a couple of my Let's Plays. Just a sweet, kind figure and friend. All right, Agnes. Last but not least, let's make it a good one. All right, we got one, two. Okay, I love that. Three. She's so cute. Wait, I love her lip color. Oh, I thought that was a lipstick. It's just her, she's just like that. The blonde is doing it for me and the green eyes is fun. Wait, does she have green eyes? Agatha, do you have green eyes? No, she's brown eyes. Where did the green eyes come from? That's where I want to know. Cause Chelsea certainly does not have green eyes. She has like more blue eyes. The brows are hard to see. Let's see, maybe, yeah, there we go. We can get some blonde brows in there. The lips are very wide, almost too wide for this for this face. It's not very proportional. I think she's very pretty. I don't think she would even make like the top five necessarily. There's something about the lip. If that was where her lips, it would be a fully different story. They look great on her right now, but then when she's like opening her mouth, it just looks like it's not supposed to be like that. Because I don't know that many people where their lips kind of go almost to here. I'm just trying to be honest. I'm not digging on anyone with actual wide lips. I think wide smiles are great. Let's narrow it down and pick our winner. Winner. Is our winner Michael Jr.? Is it Lavinia Jr. or Sarah Jr.? The judges will deliberate, aka me. And the winner is. It's gotta be a three way tie. I don't think I could say one. Every time I picked one sim, I was like, but, but this other sim. If I had to choose a sim to play with, I think I would pick Sarah Jr. I think she has the most realistic and proportional traits. I think her eyes are a little bit bigger than most people's eyes are, but hey, I'm a Disney girl, okay? I love that kind of stuff. Probably second place would be Lavinia and third place would be Michael, only because I don't know. I really like Michael. I really like Michael. This is so hard. It's a three-way tie, but I think the winner is Sarah Jr. She is so cute and I would happily have her in my game. Which one of my townie babies was your favorite? Comment that below and let me know which neighborhood I should try next. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!